Nicaraguan plantain empanadas. Have you ever had these before? Well, they are very tasty, delicious, very easy to make. And I made this video in Spanish a, a couple of years ago. And a lot of people have asked me if I could make it in English and I agree. For this recipe, I'm going to use seven ripe plantains. You can find them in a lot of Latin stores. In a pad, I'm going to put um, some water because we're going to boil them. So once you add the water, what I like to do is I just like to rinse them. And we're going to use seven, right? So just put them in there. Make sure you, you give them an, uh, a good wash. And they come with stickers sometimes. Uh, these plantains are from Colombia. Hello to all the people from Colombia. And sometimes they're hard to remove the stickers. So sometimes you just have to leave them. Make sure you remove, you remove the end and just cut them on half. And just, because we don't want uh, the edges of this plantain, just, just the middle part. These are very ripe, as you can see. They're very tasty. And so just put them on the side because we're going to boil them. Right there you can see them. So seven plantains. You can use more if you want. You can use less. So just put them in the pot with the water. And they, if, they're, if the plantains are ripe, it doesn't usually take a lot of time to cook them. You know, the, good sec the secret is that once you, uh, the skin cracks, that's an indication that the uh, the plantains are ready to, uh, to be taken out of the water. So just maybe like 10 minutes, it depends. And as you can see, the ones that are already cracked right there are ready to to just put them, take them out of the, of the pot and just have them ready. In Nicaragua, we eat this, but pe we we sometimes uh, don't put a lot of, you know, stuff in the middle, in the stuff. So what I like to do is just, they're very hot, be careful. Just put them over there in a tray or any anything that you have. Make sure you let them cool because they are very hot. And it usually takes like maybe like 15 minutes to uh, for them to get cool. In the meantime, I'm going to use an onion. We're going to chop an onion because we're going to, this is the onion, we're going to use it in the filling. Just chop them. And you don't even have to cut them in very nicely because we're going to fry all these vegetables. You can use any kind of onion. You can use white onion, yellow onion. I like to use garlic. And I like to use a lot of garlic. I also like to use a, a green bell pepper. You can use a red bell pepper, yellow, purple, any any color. And just cut them. Uh, you can use the vegetable that you like, any type of vegetable. But I just like to use these. These are very easy to find in a lot of supermarkets. And as you cut them, just have them ready on the on the side. So as you can see, I already uh, washed this pot, and I'm going to add some oil in there. Oh, I almost forgot. We got to add some cilantro. And I like to use a big bunch of cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you can use uh, basil, or you can use anything you like. As when the oil is hot, just put all the vegetables in there and just start uh, stir frying them. Now here we have to fry them maybe for like 15 or 20 minutes. The longer you fry this vegetable, the better that the, the sauce is going to be. So as you can see, I took my time frying them, stirring them. It just gives it some time. You don't have to rush anything. It probably takes maybe like 45 minutes to do all this, but it's worth it. At the end, you will enjoy great em empanadas made of plantains so after maybe 20 minutes of frying the vegetables just we're gonna transfer them to a food processor because we're gonna make a salsa here like a sauce yes a green sauce 
why do you ask well just wait and you will see so maybe you can use them in a blender if you want you can just add a little water or maybe you can put some chicken stock or vegetable stock any type of liquid just to help the process of blending now for this recipe I'm gonna use a pound of ground beef and a pound of ground pork you can use lamb if you wish in the same pot I'm gonna put them the a pound of ground beef and the pound of ground uh, pork so as you can see I don't like to uh, use a lot of uh, pots and don't put any oil please because there's already oil in the vegetable that we fry and, and put in the food processor as you can see that's the green sauce right there those are all the vegetables that we were frying and those vegetables contain oil so we don't want to add more oil because the meat the ground pork and the ground beef are going to release some fat and juice so maybe you can put a little bit of water if you like but i like to use lee and perry sauce or worcestershire sauce and you can put maybe like five or seven spoons of it it gives a great flavor to the meat this is the feeling for the empanadas and just stir here make sure you cook everything here maybe for like 10 or 15 minutes and I like I like to use ketchup as well uh, you can put anything here you can put uh, what can you put in here well some salt would be required not a lot it depends of how much salt do you like but uh, you can use any kind of sauce you know if you don't want to add any meat you can put some cheese I have made this empanadas before with cheese any type of cheese and they taste awesome make sure you taste the meat just to see if it has a great flavor and like I say 15 15 or 20 minutes you know make sure you cook everything here because of the pork and when I was tasting this it, it needed more salt so that's why I added a little bit more and just keep staring okay now the plantains are already cool and we're gonna remove the skin we don't need that we just need to throw them away throw them away or I don't know what can you I don't think you can eat eat the skins but yes I threw them away and the plant teams you can find them find them in a lot of stores in Latin American store sometimes we fry them but they taste good too if you just boil them and eat them instead of eating tortilla sometimes we eat this if you have a, a potato masher or mash one of those instruments to to mash the plant and that's what you gotta do just keep doing that I don't like to remove the seed in the middle or the little vein I like to leave it there but you can also remove them if you want and just keep pressing down here everything make pretend you're making like a mashed potato make sure you don't leave any chunks in here you see how it is it is because the plantains are ripe soft and tender that makes it easy to uh to mash all this so i already finished that's it couple of minutes that's all it took me make sure your hands are clean well yeah of course right but we're gonna use a little bit of a pot filled with water not warm but cool water we gotta make sure we uh, wet our hands because that way the plantains won't stick to our palms and just pretend you're making pupusas if you have made pupusas before you just put a little bit in your palm, on your palm and just keep pressing and you see they won't get uh, they don't get stuck on your palm that's it that's what you gotta do now we're gonna get a little spoon and we're gonna get the filling in there just don't put too much meat please because if you do that you're gonna have a hard time uh, folding them and everything's gonna come out so you don't need to put a lot of meat once you do that then just go like that and with your big thumb you're just gonna press it in the middle sometimes you'll see that later right there you just keep pressing and see how this it is there you have one plantain empanada filled with meat or you can fill it with cheese or anything that you want that's it we got one there and make sure you have a place where you can put them and we're gonna make 
another one so you can see. It takes time and practice, but it's very easy. It is easier if your hands are wet. You don't have to put any flour on this uh, plantains. You don't have to do anything. They will, they will, they will dry fast. So just keep pressing there like that with your fingers. And if they break, you can always patch them. You can just put a little bit more. And just keep putting the filling in there, the meat, ground pork, ground beef with vegetable taste great. You can eat this once in a while and you will enjoy them. See, you just fold them like that. And with your tongue, you just keep pressing it. That's all you gotta do. You see that crack right there? Then you, you don't have to freak out or like, or panic. Just grab some more plantains and just, just keep putting it there. And you just patching it. And that's it. With your finger, you just keep pressing down. And you can grab more plantain and just put it on top of it. Just to cover the cracks or the holes in there. And there you have another plantain empanada. They're very easy. They're very tasty and delicious. So, I mean, if you eat a couple of these, you won't die over your cholesterol. Okay, of course they're fried, you know. But some people ask me, can you put them in the oven? I don't know. I have never done that. I just fry them and they look great. They taste good. And I'm going to do one more. But always make sure you have water. Make sure you your hands are wet. That way, it's so easy to work with with them. You see how how it is it is. Anyway, hope you like this video. I usually make most of my most of my videos in Spanish, but some some people some uh, people who speak English watch them and they go, man, can you make a video in English, especially this one? And I say, okay. I'm, so sometimes I have the time the patience and I agree with it why not and I have made some videos in English before and right there we just keep doing the plantains empanada it's so easy easy when you have done them and we have three right there and that's enough I think you saw enough of it and maybe I should make one more I'm sorry <laughs> maybe this is the last one but I just want to make sure you look at it and you learn I, just, I don't want to make only one and just say, okay, this is how you made them and that's it. I think the longer you see it, the, the faster you will learn. You see, you just keep putting there. Don't put too much meat. And then use your hand, your right hand, and just keep folding them like that. And just keep grabbing more plantain mush from, from the container over there. And just keep adding more if it needs some in the crack or the... Or the holes in there. No, you, you 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 just have to leave them outside for an hour, and they will dry very very fast. In Nicaragua, some people sell this, but uh, here in the United States, I like to use my own choice of filling. I can put any kind of meat, any kind of vegetables. Um, and right there, see, we are, I, th I don't know how many, we, I think probably we made like 17, how many do we have there? 3, 5, 10, 14, something like that. This video is going very fast, I cannot count, sorry. Now we're going to fry them. Make sure you put some oil. Wait for the oil to be hot, but not very, very hot. Like a medium flame. You don't want to crack the, uh, the flame, otherwise they will burn fast. And just keep putting them there. You can put three, you can put five, you can put six. And you don't need a lot of oil because the plantains are already cooked. The meat is already cooked. The vegetables are already fried. So what do you want to, why do we fry them? Because we want to give them a nice um, color on the outside. And a good, a good, um, and, and they have to be fried too because uh, they will uh, taste better. I don't know if you can put them in the oven. I don't know if you can bake them. I have never tried. I think fry them is faster, but some people cannot eat fried food all the time. But once in a while, if you eat one, you sh I, I think you'll be okay. I don't know. And so when I made this at home, wow, everybody ate them. 
Now you fry maybe only for like three three minutes on each side. Make sure you are there. Don't walk away because the way they could burn. Just stay with them. Have some patience. And you see the color that you want to get. That's how you don't want to make them uh, too brown because that way they will burn. Make sure you use a spatula. Then after you fry like three or four minutes on each side, just put a, a, some paper on the on a plate, so that way the oil will, the paper will absorb all the oil. You see right there? You can just flip them over one more time if you want a little bit more color. So these are very easy to make. And I ate three. <laughs> they were very, very delicious. Hope you like the video. You know what to do, right? Just click where it say I like it. And if you don't like it, just click where it say I don't like it. And that's fine. I sleep well at night. And we have the plantains empanada. You see how easy it is to make them? Yeah, some people don't know that you can make plantains empanadas. Most, time, most of the time, some people use flour, egg, and salt, and and butter and other, other ingredients but here we just using plantains that's it and you can choose any type of vegetable or any type of meat for the filling and now this time i'm gonna put five yes we can work with five there and it's so easy i'm from nicaragua i never made this over there i just learned to make them here on my own and I made a video in English, in Spanish, and wow, that video already has maybe like what six hundred thousand views, and a lot of likes. And so that's how some people who speak English in our country saw it, and they asked me if I could make this video, and I said okay, I will make it with my broken English. And hope you understand, because sometimes some people complain about my English, and I said yeah, and sometimes they complain about my Spanish too, so. It's kind of hard to to please everybody right nowadays when you make something, but that's how it is. There you go. I finished making the plantains empanadas. They were delicious. Everybody enjoyed them, and I I ate this with like steamed rice and some salsa. I have some videos in English how to make like salsa, and you can go on YouTube and just type Latin curry sauce, and they they go very well with these empanadas. Thank you, hope you enjoy it, take care, and that's it. I don't know, maybe we can make another video. In